In today's video, I'm going to be discussing what happens to your desktop experience when you make the switch from WhatsApp to WhatsApp for business. So many people ask me in the comments how the experience is different on your computer once you've made the switch. And if you're curious, then this is going to be the video for you. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Megs and every week I release tech tutorials helping you do digital better. So first things first, absolutely you can use WhatsApp desktop and WhatsApp web if you've made the switch over. So that is question numero uno, is it even possible? If you're kind of unfamiliar in terms of the difference between WhatsApp web and WhatsApp desktop, effectively what's happening is WhatsApp web is a web interface, i.e. you need to be in your Google Chrome and you're accessing the application via a URL versus the downloadable WhatsApp desktop, which is an app which sits on your computer and you'll obviously see the icon then probably pinned in your home screen when you first log onto your computer. So there's subtle differences between the two and there used to be a lot more limitations with WhatsApp web, but to be honest, it's a pretty amazing experience even though it's not a native app within your computer. So you do still get notifications if you enable them and these are run through the browser, so through your Chrome or whatever you're using. Apparently it's not full notifications, but some notifications do still work. The key difference would be the fact that WhatsApp calling is not gonna work through your desktop if you're running on a browser. So you would have to install WhatsApp desktop, i.e. the app, and only then would you see the video calling and the phone calling option, but otherwise WhatsApp web is perfect. If you're wondering what is different when you're running WhatsApp desktop from WhatsApp business perspective, I'm gonna show you the additional functionality which is actually gonna appear when you start using WhatsApp for business. And that's really the exciting part. So everything still works as it should. There's just an, a couple of additional bits of functionality that you're gonna see. So you're gonna go to your device, of course, you're gonna hit linked devices and you're gonna get a QR code which is on your computer screen which you then can link to your phone. So that's same straightforward process that it is with normal WhatsApp. But then you'll see when you go into your profile, you're gonna have those additional bits of functionality that were enabled from a mobile perspective on the desktop version as well. So those will be things like business description, the category that you chose. So for example, I chose education, your business address, your trading hours, your email address. And all of this is completely editable within the WhatsApp desktop interface, which is fantastic. You can also make changes to things like email address and website. What I also like about it is that obviously because you're on a bigger screen, it's quite nice in terms of understanding the limitations and just how far you can push WhatsApp for business because you can really take the time to go through all the categories and actually see that you can pick up to three categories. It's not just a case of picking one, which I really liked when I did it this way, it became a bit more obvious that that was the case. When I'd saved my education option, I started to have a look in terms of how trading hours were gonna look. So you can see here that it's not just a case of having to say kind of like Monday to Friday, nine to five. You'll see that actually you can make individual changes to days. So for example, if you closed on a Wednesday, it's totally possible to make that change. Or you can stipulate that you're always open or you can stipulate that you're by appointment only. So I just found like the desktop experience was actually quite a lot better. And then particularly from a catalog standpoint, as we've said on this channel previously, catalog is the game changer when it comes to WhatsApp for Business. It's kind of like, although there's nine additional pieces of functionality that you're getting from upgrading to the WhatsApp for Business app, catalog is really where you're separating the boys from the men effectively. <laughs> so you'll notice that it's actually way easier to maintain a catalog from WhatsApp desktop. So I would definitely recommend if you're gonna add more than let's say five products to go the WhatsApp desktop or WhatsApp web route. You'll also notice that you can see the functionality that users can see like adding to cart. Plus you get to see the admin functionality which is the ability to share hide the item or delete the item. If you're wondering how to up-level how your catalog appears 
Again, it's great that you're using WhatsApp desktop for this because I would suggest doing it in tandem with the Canva free design software. So basically cropping your images beautifully online. If you need to retouch them, you can do that. Otherwise, if you do have the paid or premium membership on Canva, you can actually deep etch or use what they call the BG remover, the background remover, to make sure that your products are really presenting beautifully. And if you wanna crop them and then put them on your brand colors, add your logo and so forth, then it'll be really easy to do it that way. So that's why it's actually quite nice to do it on a computer as opposed to doing it on your phone. However, if you do wanna load product on your phone, a simple hack which I always share is to create a group with a single friend in it, remove the friend and then be left in a group by yourself, change that group name to something like test and then what you can do on Canva is actually design to your heart's content and then pop it onto um, that WhatsApp desktop conversation called test and then you can download that easily on your phone. So there are ways and means to get around it. Also, if you're not so sold on doing that via WhatsApp, Telegram actually has functionality called saved messages, which is exactly that. It's a conversation with yourself. You don't need to use any workaround in order to get your stuff from A to B. Alternatively, things like AirDrop, which are a little bit more obvious. But I hope that this tutorial has really cleared up the fact that Definitely WhatsApp web is possible with WhatsApp for business and actually in some instances it's preferable mainly when you're loading product to your catalog. Okay guys, I hope that this was helpful. I can't wait to see you in the next one so we can keep on doing digital better. Bye!